what we're witnessing. Um, and we're bringing up key points and corrective criticism. I mean, it should be a selectable style. Obviously, that hood's a little bit drapey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the people are going to sit there and they're going to try to hype this up, but realistically, man, there's there's no real hype with this, okay? There's no real hype, all right? Why? Why, why, why did they have to give us Finn? Why did they have to give us Finn? Okay, so his entire backstory. Yeah, so he's literally a direct ripoff of Han Solo. Uh, he was a stormtrooper who had a conscience for the New Order and was like, I can't do this. I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. I ain't about this. I'm going to leave. I'm going to join the Resistance. I'm a pilot. I'm, it's like, I don't care about you. Yeah, you have too much screen time. The way he's being advertised is like he's a key, essential, primary source to the story. And sure, he adds a little bit of dialogue, but the fact of it is, is he has not contributed anything other than you're a traitor. Get up. I knew they were gonna fucking do this, dude. I knew they were gonna fucking do this. They are trying to push this on people so hard. They're like, hey, please like us. Please like this. I promise the I new. I still feel like they're gonna have more, though. They are. I'm just. Because it says, yes, 431 hours on this stuff. Yeah. But still. I just, I'm so incredibly disappointed with not seeing Boba Fett, Darth Vader, or Luke Skywalker. Uh, how about that? You want to you want to sell shit, sell people stuff that they love. Yep, the original really trilogy set. Out, it's the original trilogy set. Yeah. No, we're so we're going to get for sure more. They will. Have more original trilogy sets. They, will. they will. Absolutely. You're just upset that they also added a lot of this. In. Yeah, it's like and don't get me wrong, I just feel like they could have fit in way better iconic characters other than Finn. No, I, I get you. Like the Sith trooper, he's cool, but he's not worthy. And I respect him as an actor, I do not respect his character. I find him uninteresting. He's boring, and he hasn't done. Who's the guy that tricked on Solo? What do you mean? Who was the guy that tricked on Solo from the series that brought them there, and then that's how they got captured by Vader? Oh yeah, Lando. Lando Griffin. Okay. Lando, yes. He I was would be. Lando. Dude. I would be so okay if they introduced the childish Gambino version of a young Lando Griffin. That would be cool. I would honestly buy him. I would buy him. I'd buy him. Childish Gambino, not older. That's fair. No, and a part of the solo gig, dude, young Lando... He was one sly, slick, suave ass character. Like, he was truly a dope ass character when he was younger. Whenever he got older and he sold everybody out to the Empire, that was a bitch move. I don't respect older Lando. I respect younger Lando that Childish Gambino portrayed. Yeah, and he was fucking dope in it, dude. He was good as shit in that one, dude. I loved him. Loved him. So I'm a, I'm all for Lando. 
I'm all for not even getting a lightsaber on that situation. Give me his iconic blaster skin. Give me something. I'm not tripping. I just don't like Finn. I think he's boring. He's boring. Absolutely. Absolutely. He'll get. He'll get put in the original set. Do you want to know why I think that? That too, and because we already have a Sasquatch skin. Yep. All they gotta do is tweak him a little bit and make him look more iconic. So yeah. Um. Uh, uh, I mean. Well, okay. Hear me out on this. Disney owns Star Wars. Disney also owns Marvel. In a galaxy far, far, far away. Who's to know what's happening in different parsecs? So, in theory, it is very possible that the Guardians of the Galaxy could technically be a part of the same universe. Right. Who knows what they'll do with it now that they have it. Oh, I doubt that they're ever going to do a mashup of Star Wars and Marvel. If they did, though, that would be cool. I mean, honestly, though, I feel like the Avengers would not be able to take on any of them. Any of them. I mean, you got bounty hunters that used to fight, uh, what were they called? Uh, something sores. I can't remember. Bounty hunters fight. The Mandalorians fight in the uh, great Gragasaur or some shit like that. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Anyways, it's the one that you see on Boba Fett's armor. Uh, yeah, myth, mythosaur, mythosaur, mythosaur. That's what it's called. Um, and that is epic. So, anyways, what I'm getting at is, you've got Darth Vader, who's literally collapsed an entire planet, like stopped an entire thing from crushing down on a planet. Uh, and you've got the Incredible Hulk, who also stopped a planet from crushing the earth if i understand correctly um but realistically darth vader i feel like would kick the shit out of all of the avengers i'm not gonna lie i really do like the right control of the song i respect that they just need to add these freaking lightsabers they need to do a 50-50 lightsaber battle royale, for, or just a freaking battle royale involving Star Wars. You know what? This is paving the path. I predicted this. We're going to get a Star Wars battle royale. We're going to get a Star Wars battle royale. I, I feel it in my bones. This is them literally testing the grounds. Can we do this? And if they do that, that'd be pretty cool from finding a legendary, like, lightsaber to finding, like, a basic common light blaster or, like, a, a blaster. Right. Epic. You want to make Star Wars fans happy, give them skins, give them lightsabers, give them freedom of map, and let it be. That's all you got to do. Everything will fall into place perfectly. But no. No, what they want to keep doing is they want to keep janking my chain around and making me beg for something. And it's like, I'm not getting any younger for a Star Wars Battle Royale. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you've been waiting this entire time. I've just been going. I just now hit the video realizing I'm live streaming. <laughs> what well, is he? Uh, if you. Yeah, uh, this was for the fans, what we're talking about. Just, I feel like I would have such a controversial reaction from your fan base, from everybody that's watching. Uh, there's literally no one watching. Okay, fair enough. We're going to pretend there's three million people watching. Okay, that's that. Then now I'm nervous. Yep, yep, perfect. <laughs> Spotlight's on you, baby. <laughs> 